So, I'll often speak of the hand as a kind of a mini-body. What do I mean by that? Well, it means that the distal phalange is like the foot, and the, the distal joint is like the ankle. So if you could imagine wiggling your foot, that would be wiggling the distal joint. Now, the medial joint is like the knee. So this is like the shin, and the knee, this would be bending the knee, bending the knee, bending the knee. The proximal phalange is like the thigh, and the metacarpal phalangeal joint is like the hip joint. So when you, the whole leg stands up, then the hip joint, of course, stands higher than any other part. There's no inversion, there's no hip joint trying to be underneath the knee joint. Now, the hand is a pelvis, and the wrist is the top of the pelvis, the bottom of the spine, L5-S1. So when you walk, there might be some rotation going on in there. There might be some lateral movement. There might even be a little bit of vertical movement. But you're not going to be waving around like this. The middle of your body doesn't wave around like that when you walk. It always stays balanced, central, and neutral, joining the upper and the lower. The forearm is like a torso, ah, and the elbow is like the head. So again, the torso carries the head, and the head is not waving around like crazy as you walk down the street. It's balanced, balanced, animating everything because it's the one that sees and plans but not actually doing the movements. The head trusts the body to carry it. So, what did I say? The moving, the curling the distal phalange is like wiggling the foot. Curling the medial phalange would be like curling the knee, moving the knee. And standing up would be like standing up. When I walk down the street, my head is balanced, not waving around like this. When I walk down the street, my pelvis is not doing this kind of stuff. It's balanced in the middle. It's free. It's moving. But it's not wonky and constantly losing its balance and regaining its balance. It is fully supported by the right work of the legs and that's why it can maintain its balance easily and effectively.